Welcome back to Music with Ryan. This week's feature lesson, I've written a couple of arrangements for the tune Freight Train, the standard folk tune Freight Train in the key of C. And uh, I have a car style version at my website, but I went ahead and someone, well, someone requested, one of the new member at the site requested, hey, can you do a finger style version Freight Train? And I've been playing this finger style for a little while, but I didn't have it written up yet. So I took the time, wrote up two arrangements like you saw, one very beginner, just kind of doing pinching, kind of an intro to finger style for sure, getting you started in this, you know, yeah, in this technique, learning this technique. And then again, an uh, intermediate to advanced arrangement with more of a rolling effect and just more going on in general, kind of the melody, a little more syncopated as well. So if you'd like to purchase the full length version, you can click the link above or below, kind of depending on where you're watching, and I'll shoot you on over to my website. And there, if you do purchase the full-length version, it'll come with about 50 minutes of video or so, give or take. Two arrangements usually sits around 50 minutes. Uh, three backing tracks for each arrangement. And um, the PDF tabs for each arrangement as well. And if you really like the way I teach and approach learning, I don't have all that much finger style, but I am adding some. I do, of course, a lot of flat picking. Um, I have over 230 lessons at my site, and if you'd like to access everything, full-length version, you can be a member. You can click the link above or below and learn about being a member. And for a monthly or yearly fee, access all my video lessons. I put out one every week, and uh, yeah, I work on my website all the time, always improving it and getting more instruction up there. So give that a look if that's something you're interested in. Again, if you like, like my style, like the way I teach, it might be for you. So for now, we're going to start walking through this lesson a little bit, give you a preview how it's going to go, put the tabs up on the screen, and bring the camera on in. Hope you enjoy. We're going to walk through the beginning version of Freight Train in the Kia C. Thanks for watching. All right, so let's go ahead and break down the Freight Train finger style here, and this is the beginning arrangement. And just a couple things to keep in mind, maybe if you're new to finger style, um, the markings on the bottom of the staff, you'll see like P and M and P, and what that is telling us is the right hand. So it's kind of a classical term, but people call this Pima. And what it is is P for thumb, I for index, M for middle, and A for ring finger. Okay, A couple different ways you might see it written, but that is certainly one common way. It's, again, it's more of a classical thing. And since I'm kind of classically trained, I decided to write it out like that. So again, P for thumb. I for index, M for middle, and A for ring. Now for this arrangement, since it's beginner, we're gonna only be using thumb and middle, okay? Thumb and middle the whole time. Um, yeah, we're gonna be just doing all quarter notes and lots of pinching. Um, when we pinch, we play two, two strings at once. Um, if there's any markings above the staff, little numbers, it might be some fingerings in the left hand, but most of the work will be in the right hand be some left hand things but um, and also for finger style again this is a beginning arrangement so I will cover a few just basic things like you know the, the markings but then also my right hand and how I hold it it's very important to try to get this nice curved my three fingers are sitting like on the G the B and the E and my thumb is going to kind of patrol the bottom three strings and my hand is it's hard to see it's curved though see how it's curved just sitting there like that and it's just, some people when they play finger style, they want to kind of straighten out their fingers and make big plucks. It's almost hard for me to do it improper. But I have, again, my hand is nice and close. And then when I pluck, I'm plucking like straight back to my wrist. 
So I'm plucking actually this way. Okay, but of course, yeah, I'm just doing my fingertips. And, it, and if you're new to fingerstyle, it really does take some time to get this. Again, this is a technique. This is like holding the pick for the first time or something. You really got to, um, it just takes a little time to work on and, and just have control of just doing these, the movements with my right hand, just straight back in a nice, getting curled position. I'm in a curled position. My fingers aren't straight. And, they're, and again, when I'm plucking, I'm not making big movements. And you could just work on it with open strings, you know. And everything um, just stays really efficient. Again, it takes time. But a couple basic finger style things to keep in mind when you're starting out. All right, so now I will play the first three measures of this piece. And... Um, and then we'll talk about what's going on a little more in depth. Again, the melody is straight on, and there's no syncopation really, and it's all quarter notes. So here we go. So uh, one, two, ready, go. And then also you might notice I have a different guitar than I usually, I usually have my Dreadnought Taylor um, I always play, but this is a finger style of course, and I wanted to use this guitar, I've had it for a long time, it's like this Olympia, it's nothing really that fancy, but the body is smaller, the action is uh, a little bit, it's more playable, so the action's a little bit lower, and it just certainly makes it easier to do these finger style tunes on. Um, you know, it's a little more work on those dreadnought guitars, and so that's why I have my I have this is my first video actually using this guitar. I've had it for a long time, and it does sound really nice. The strings are a little dead, but um, it does sound really great. And again, it's so much more playable for tunes like this. So if you're on the dreadnought, you might notice it takes a little more work. So if it gets a little frustrating, I, the, the guitar can have something to do with that for sure. So let's take a look at that first measure. Um, I'm in the C shape, but my pinky is on the high E, third fret, and I'm pinching the A and the E, okay? And again, middle and, middle and thumb. I'm always pinching with the middle and thumb for this arrangement. And then play the D string, second fret, and you're already there. The next, um, when I my uh, the third beat, my third finger comes up to the low E on the third fret, and I take my pinky off, and back to the D string. And Another thing I'll mention. If you've done any finger style lessons, one of the first things they always say is getting this thumb to be kind of independent because it's going to just keep on going for you, acting like a metronome almost or a bass player. And you're going to play the melody notes above that or along with it, however you want to think about it. So that can be an exercise in itself, just getting the bass line to be natural. And the bass line changes up a little bit. Your thumb will move a little bit, you know, different strings depending on which chord. But the idea is you're, it's click, click, right on the beat every time, you know. And sometimes I'm alternating the bass and sometimes I'm not, but most of the time for this arrangement we are. So that's another basic concept for the finger style as well. So that's the first measure. Second measure then, um, I'm going to, my pinky's gonna come into the third fret of the B, and I'm gonna play the A string and the B string together. Okay. And then back to the D string. Then lift my pinky, play the A and the B together, pinch that, and then the D string. 
So very little movement in the left hand, just that pinky kind of moving around a little bit. And then the next measure, I go to my G chord. I'm going to play G like this. I know there's a few different ways to play G. You could also do it like this, perhaps. It's another popular finger style way to play G. But I'm going to, I like to use my pinky down there. They are the same, virtually. Uh, and then we got a pinch between the E and the B. So the B string is open. Third fret on the E. Then the open D. And then a pinch between the two E strings, three and three. And back to open D. That measure. Ready, go. Okay, all three of those measures together. Two, ready, go. thing I'll mention it's a little bit more intermediate thing to think about and I'll talk more about it in the in the other arrangement but just want to get your head wrapped around a little bit is that you know finger style we're playing obviously like a lot of notes and you know individually there's a lot of things going on it seems like or you know there's more notes involved I uh, it's hard to explain a little bit but I just feel like there's more going on so when I'm playing I'm actually trying to pluck the melody notes, I'm trying to bring those forward a little bit in my playing. So I'm actually accenting the melody notes a little bit more than some of the other notes. So that's kind of, it took me a really long time to kind of grasp this when I was starting to play with my fingers that I actually want to bring the melody line forward and some of the other notes not as much. So I want to, again, accent the melody notes and play them a little bit louder. Um, that takes some... <laughs> very focused control, I guess. Um, and so you got to know where the melody line is. I just played the top line, the melody note. Okay, so I want to bring those notes a little more forward than some of the bass stuff. So that takes some control right just to bring those forward so I just want to that might be a little bit advanced for you right now perhaps but I do want to get your mind thinking about that all right so let's move on to the next few measures Three, four. 